what is it you have there, good sir? This amazing device is yes. called the T R M I one blank fire grenade. Ah, yes, and where can we find this thing, good sir? This thing is exclusive in Europe. It is just far superior. Oh, yes, we are greater than any. The fuck are you talking about? No, no, no. Oh, come on, say! What's up, Airsofters? Today we're going to talk about something that is brand new to the United States. Not entirely new to the Airsoft world, but to the United States. This is groundbreaking. Today we're talking about the TRMR Blank Fire Grenade. I'm really excited about this project. Uh, the fact that it's come to the United States is going to completely change the face of airsoft in this country. Um, like I said, it's a blank fire grenade, so it can take different types of rounds. Right now, I have in my possession 12 gauge primers, thank you, which are these little buggers, which is going to be kind of hard to see at that angle, but they are each individual little brass circle is one primer. Uh, you very simply pop it into the grenade, you take the safety off, and you toss it. It's very simple. Then, to use 9mm primers, primers, my mistake, 9mm blanks, uh, you can get them in these little packages. You can buy them at any gun store. Actually, hell, I'm pretty sure you can buy them at Walmart. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Hand, can you pop up here, please? Hold that right there. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have simple 9mm blanks. Uh, right now, I'm using Walter blanks, which are my personal favorite because they're loud and they're scary. Now you may ask, you're looking at this thing, how the hell do you change the caliber? Very simple. You make sure the safety is on, which is this rotating line right here. You unscrew the base. Hand, pop up again, please. Thank you. Hold that right there. All right. Uh, and then you take a screwdriver or uh, a just pointy, strong instrument. And you see the two holes down here? You push into there, making sure that this is cleaned and lubricated, because if it's not, you will not get this out, and it's a pain in the ass, trust me. You pull the little thing out, you flip it over, right there's the 9mm, right there's the 12 gauge primers, and then the cool thing about this, that big hole, you can put 12 gauge blanks in this thing. It's loud, and it's scary. Um, sadly, I haven't been able to get a hold of any of them, but I managed to get the primers and the 9mm blanks. Um, after doing extensive research, the only place I was able to find these, thank you, hand, is Grouchy Joe Airsoft, uh, located at Zulu24. Uh, they are the official f uh, store of the field. Right now, as far as I know, Joe, the owner of the shop, is the only person in the United States that has these. I may be wrong. I did do extensive research for the past two days looking into it. I've talked to him, and both of us have been able to find, un unable to find a place that is selling these in the United States. So I'm very excited to see these. So the grenade itself has a very simple function. To load it, like I showed earlier, you unscrew the main part from the base, you pop a primer, a primer in here or a blank, right now I have the primers chambered, you then screw it back on, and once it's completely on, you are ready to go. It's that easy. To get it to fire, you twist this, once you see the little itty bitty red line right here, and then this thing is moving, you are ready to go. This is an impact grenade. I can actually pop it like that and it will go off. I used this thing last weekend at Hudson Valley Airsoft, which is an indoor field about 25 minutes from where I live. Uh, and I devastated kids with it. It is loud, it is scary indoors, and I'm very excited. Now that I have the 9mm blanks, which I picked up this week, I'm going back this weekend uh, and we're going to see how effective it is that way. Other than that, the grenade is very sturdily built. It feels like a nice you know, block of metal. Uh, <laughs> granted, like, you definitely want to throw this out, uh, underhand. If you're lobbing this thing overhand, it is very dangerous because of the weight. It weighs in total about a good, almost four pounds. So, you know, for something that this, like this, it is a little bit heavy. Right now I have the 12 gauge primers. You're going to take the little primer, pop it in this little itty bitty hole, screw it back on, and you are ready to go. Right now, it's safe. I can throw this at the floor or the wall. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to damage my set here. But it's good to go. The second, you take it off safety. Uh, crew, please cover your ears. It's going to be loud. All right, now that the crew is safe because I don't care about my ears. <laughs> it's very loud. It's very scary. It's very awesome. Uh, and I love this thing. 
That was just with the nine mil or the twelve gauge primers. I cannot imagine how loud that would be in this small room with the nine mils. I've only done those outside, and I'm gonna be honest, I really don't want to test it inside. This thing is really awesome, and I'm excited to see it in the United States. Uh, if you guys want to pick up one for an affordable price, now I'm gonna let you know. If you're to buy this from Europe, you're spending roughly on the grenade itself. $100. Now, a few of you might be thinking, holy crap, that is a lot of money for this grenade. I'm telling you, it is 101% worth it. Yes, it is mildly expensive in the sense that it is $100 and you are, you know, throwing basically a very heavy $100 bill. If you lose it, yes, it's, it's going to be sad, uh, but the thing is, if you throw this at your field and it gets stolen or it gets grabbed or you lose it and someone finds it, not many people have these right now. So right now in the States, they're kind of theft proof. So, you know, and plus you can open it up and you can put uh, your name on the inside of it. You can mark it. You can spray paint it and be like, hey, this is mine. Why the hell do you have this? Uh, so that's your theft protection. Pricing wise, like I said, it's about $100. Anywhere varying between $90. I paid $130 for mine uh, because Joe was, has to make some form of profit on this when he sells it because he is shipping these in from overseas. To buy it from Europe, you're looking at spending 100 maybe 120 and then you're spending roughly $50 to get it over here. If you buy it from Joe, you can order it. You can contact him via Facebook and Instagram, Grouchy Joe Airsoft. I'll put a link in uh, either somewhere around here or at the bottom, but I will put a link um, to his YouTube channel and his Facebook if I can. Um, but that's how you can get it. He will ship it to you. All right, guys, so right now we have two TRMRs. We have green, purple, and green. They come in a bunch of different colors. Right now, we have a guest thrower. Right now, we're actually going to throw uh, two different calibers. We're going to do the 12 gauge primers, and we're also going to do the 9 mil blanks. So I'm really excited to uh, hear how loud these echo, not with the game going on, uh, because these things are really freaking loud. So we're going to start. Uh, with the quieter one, we're going to start with the 12 gauge primer. Brett, if you would like, you know how it functions. Take the safety off, give us a quick little countdown, and toss it so that way the camera can see it. So try and aim right there. There's your target. So twist it so that the red is available, and then right now the safety is off, and give it a nice little toss. Yep. simple enough. Uh, this one I actually need my knife for because the 9mm blanks sometimes are a little bit sticky. So uh, if it's not fully clean, which I've been throwing this all day, so it's not as clean. So you can pop the 9mm blank out and boom, right there, you have a spent blank. And it is all set. You unscrew that. Yep. See how easy it is to work? You unscrew the top. There you go. And then the primer is right there. Flip it over. Good. There you go. Primer drops right out. So all small, right. you're so loud. So there you go. Simple enough. Like I was saying though, when you throw this on the field, you're spending literally under 10 cents. If you're using the 12 gauge primers, you're spending under 10 cents to throw this every time. So you throw it 10 times in a day, 10, 11, 12 times, 
you've only spent a dollar in comparison to what you're spending on Thunder Bees um, or other reusable grenades. Like for example, say you're using a tornado or a cyclone, you have to regas that. So the gas is going to run out. Plus you have to put the caps on the bottom that make it loud. This is loud, it flashes, it's scary. Yes, it doesn't expel BBs, but it serves its purpose. So, and it's definitely worth the money. So guys, I would very much, very much recommend the TRMR E1 blank fire grenade. This is Paul from Valley Central Airsoft. Happy airsofting.